So you're trying to solve a system of equations by graphing? Cool, I've got you covered. What's up y'all, I'm Tom, this is Like a Math Class, let's get to solving a system of equations by graphing. In a previous video we had met Ian and he's trying to find some good breakfast. We sorted out all of this information and we made a couple of equations down here where this first equation represented calories and this equation represented protein. Now if you wanna know how did we go through all of that and setting up all that information, check out this video here where we go through that whole process. So how do we now graph these two things? These numbers are so different. How can we possibly get them on the same graph? Well, what we're gonna do is a really quick way, probably the quickest way that you can graph an equation uh, in this form, in any form really, and we're gonna find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, or in this case, the t-intercept and the b-intercept. Before we can find what the x and y-intercepts are, or the t and b-intercepts are, we have to know what each axis represents. So up here we said, let's let t equal the oats, and I'm gonna put the oats down on the bottom. So this is gonna be the, the oats down here, and we'll call this t, which means that this one up here is gonna be b, and this one we'll call nut butter. It's not easy writing sideways. Okay, so how do we find the, the intercepts for nut butter and the intercepts for oats for these two equations? Here's a little trick. Well, we know that here for any of these axes, that's gonna have a zero value for oats. That means they're not gonna eat any oats. We're only gonna eat nut butter. And over here, we're gonna have no nut butter. We're only gonna eat oats. So we're gonna put zeros into this equation to find where we can draw some lines here. So I'm gonna need a little bit of space. Let's go up here. So we've got 200 times zero. We'll, make, we'll do our zero here first, plus 180b is equal to 950. All right, well 200 times zero is zero, so 180b is 950, and if we divide by 180, then our b is gonna equal 5.28. And then if I do the same thing for the other equation, I, now I'm gonna have 200t plus 180 times zero, and that's gonna equal 950. All right, the 180 times zero disappears. It doesn't really disappear, it just becomes zero. And we have 200t equals 950. When we then divide by 200, t is going to equal 4.75. So this was uh, from our oats and this was from our nut butter. So let's graph these two things for our red line. For our nut butter, we should be at 5.28. I'm gonna find the spot right about there is gonna be 5.28. And then I have to go to 4.75 for my oats. So 4.75 looks like it's right about there. And hopefully with the magic of technology, I can draw a nice straight line. There we go, that looks good. Now we have to do the same thing for our protein. So we're gonna do two times zero plus eight B equals 25. Again, eight B is gonna equal 25 because the two times zero goes away. We're gonna divide by eight and B is equal to 3.125. And if we do the same thing again, now we've got 2t plus 8 times 0 equals 25. All right, the 8 and the 0 go away. We're going to divide by 2, and t equals 12.5. Again, t is our oats, b is our nut butter. And those are our b and t intercepts. So B is 3.125. That's going to be a little bit tougher, but I'm going to just kind of put it here close to 3. T is 12.5, so I'm all the way over here. So let's see if I can draw a straight line here. Come on, technology, help me out. All right, there we go. And now where the intersection is, is our actual solution to this equation. So now we know that Ian, uh, what, how many servings of each should he make? Well, let's see. This looks like this falls right about halfway, almost right in the middle there. So I'm gonna guess that this is 2.5 servings of oats and that this is 2.5 servings of nut butter. Now the good thing about graphing, ooh, you should like the video. The good thing about graphing is 
that you can visually see where the intersection is. It's pretty straightforward. You see where those two lines intersect, that's the solution. The bad thing about graphing is it's just an estimate. So we can see that it's kind of in that spot in the middle of, of the 2.5, 2.5. It looks like it's right about there, but we're not exactly sure. So if we wanna be more accurate, we've got two algebraic methods that we could do this. One is called elimination, one is called substitution. We'll get to those in the videos linked down below or right here. I'll see you in the next video.